Let's finish. just very quickly do Kingmaker, which is a documentary about Imelda Marcos um, and the resurgence of the Marcos family in uh, in the Philippines. So directed by Lauren Greenfield, who made Queen of Versailles and Generation Wealth. I reviewed um, Generation Wealth here about a year or so ago. So she's somebody who has an eye for the madness of the of the rich. So essentially, um, Imelda Marcos is interviewed, uh, proclaiming herself to be, you know, the mother of the nation. We hear her announce that all the extravagance was only ever there to uh, to lift the poor. She says at one point, "You see, the poor love me because they need a star. They need a star to to, to guide them from, like from the darkness." Ava Perón. It, yeah, and that weirdly enough, that thought occurred to me on more than one occasion. Um, we see her. In a in a bus, in the, handing money out of the window. This is the thing that she does. She walks around with wads of money and she gives it out to the poor children and to you know to the impoverished, who all you know obviously respond with gratitude because they're being given money. But this is what she does. This is her trick. And on one level, she's a ridiculous figure. Her you know pompous, uh, full of herselfness description of herself as the mother of this and the you know the savior of that and somebody who is you know talks about uh, that she could have solved all the world problems because she was just so charming that all the world leaders fell fell in love with her. We hear about the vanity and the shoes, you know, the thousand plus shoes. But behind that is something much darker. The fact that she talks about martial law as being a period of a golden age. She talks about Gaddafi as being a close friend. She seems impervious to reports of the torture and the killings that happened under the Marcos regime. And now, much more sinisterly, here she is spearheading her son's campaign to become vice president, to restore the Marcos family to its former, in inverted commas, glory as the family at the head of the nation. We And what happens is that this conversation, these interviews are intercut with scenes, for example, of the evidence of the fallout of their rule. We see the island where these imported animals, giraffes and exotic animals, were brought in to create a play park that then destroyed everyone's crops and 250 families had to be evicted and now have turned into kind of interbreeding catastrophe. We hear about the Bridge of Love, which was built by him for her, but then becomes the name of a particularly grisly form of torture. We hear from those who spoke out against the regime and who were tortured and imprisoned. And we see evidence of staggering levels of thievery. And, uh, you know, uh, and the weird thing is that it turns out that most of the money is now being used to re, you know, to 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 bring the family back into public prominence. So what's what's interesting about the film is that it has at the centre of it this kind of ludicrous, ridiculous figure. And as the documentary kind of scratches away at the surface of it, you see this horror, this grotesque horror beneath it. And I thought that was a very astute way of approaching the film.